Hey friends and welcome back to Sewing From Scratch. I am Caitlin and this is where I teach you everything I know about sewing and we learn more together along the way. Today I thought it would be fun to share what I spent on materials, patterns, etc. in 2021. Now I want to preface this by saying that sewing is my job. I obviously make videos and I do freelance work so I do purchase things. Um, however, none of these things would have been like essential because I do have a fairly large fabric stash and that kind of thing and patterns and all these things that make it so that this is kind of frivolous I guess is what I'm trying to say. When we get to the end and I add it all up and tell you we will discuss the total as well. So let's start with the biggest one and that is fabric. I think we can all agree that this is the biggest part of our sewing budget is the fabric. I mean, especially if you are into like high quality fabrics, you like to spend and you like to get what you pay for. And we like, you know, we're, we're okay with spending a little bit more if the fabric is gonna be that much better. That being said, I was, it was kind of my goal in 2021 not to buy fabrics or to only buy secondhand fabrics. Now I will say, so I purchased fabric, one, two, three, four, five times in the whole year from online shops and I, I I didn't keep track of thrifting but I'm sure I must have thrifted and we'll talk about that after. Of those five, three were brand new and there was reason for them which we will discuss as we get to them. So I think the first time I purchased fabric was in the summer, fall when I purchased from FabCycle and I do have a video on this and I will link it. Anything that I you know have mentioned previously will be linked below but I purchased quite a few cuts of fabric from Simplify, or sorry, from FabCycle, and my total there was $165.31. This is all in Canadian funds. By the way, we live in Canada. Everything I'm mentioning to you is either in Canadian funds or I have translated it into Canadian funds. So FabCycle was $165.31. Then uh, it was coming up to Orange Shirt Day and I didn't have any orange fabric and I really wanted to participate in Orange Shirt Day. Obviously just wearing a shirt doesn't make you participate or not wearing a shirt doesn't make you not participate. But for me, we were attending an event and I wanted to support them and show my support with an orange shirt for me and my kids. So I was on the hunt for some orange fabric and I first ordered from Fabric Snob. I ordered two cuts of their boyfriend solids and that came to $52.49 and those weren't really the right color that I was going for so then I ordered from Simplify a bamboo jersey and this ended up being $64.24 and I was able to get three shirts so for me and my two kids and I still have scraps left over that I'm going to use up as well and then my husband decided he actually did want a shirt in the end after all after I asked him and he said no so then I ended up using the one cut from the fabric snob for that and then I was able to use those scraps for leggings for my daughter as well. So that was for that. So those were the two shops that I bought like brand new fabric from, not pre-owned. And because I like I needed it, I couldn't find anything secondhand. So that's what I did. And then the next thing was bra maker supply. And this was for my bra sewing series. And I, if you followed that, you know I bought a kit and all these things that um, that were new. So I spent. $86.40 at Bra Makers Supply. And then finally, I had a Distashify order, and you guys saw this. Recently, I did my Distashify haul from two different shops. So the one shop worked out to $57.99, and then the other shop worked out to $61.32. So for an, a total of $487.75 on fabric in 2021. Not doesn't include thrifting and I just threw in $40 for thrifting because I think I probably it? spent that maybe not as much maybe a little more but I think it's probably around $40 if anything but I'm gonna throw that $40 in at the end when I do the grand total so then if we move on to patterns this was my next biggest purchase going forward into 2022 I am challenging myself not to purchase any patterns, any new patterns. So for patterns, I've purchased the Megan Nielsen Dawn jeans. That was $18.70 Canadian, $18.90 Canadian, pardon me. And then I also purchased my dress form pattern. That was $29.25, so a little bit pricey. I have a whole video on it, you can watch it. I also purchased 
a little button-up shirt for my son, and that was the birch shirt from So A Little Seam. And actually, it's a you can use it for boys or girls, obviously, but it has like so many options, and I'm really excited to make my daughter some little summer button-up shirts. And then Love Notions, I purchased a matching ladies romper and kids romper, and those two together were $13.06 Canadian. And then I purchased a kids bathing suit pattern from Ellie and Mac, that was a $1.24. And then a Thread Theory, from Thread Theory, I bought a vest, and I don't know, like, I, I talked about this uh, whenever I showed it off, and I don't love the pattern, and I mean, I can use it again, but the instructions were just kind of poor, and that was $15.75. I don't know if Thread Theory actually made that, or if it was like, that used to be their brand, or if they're just carrying that, or what happened there. But that's what I bought it from was Thread Theory. And then I purchased a sock pattern, and this was when I did, well, I had been working on it for a long time, but I did do a sock comparison video, so you can check that out. But that pattern was $15.42, which is, I mean, that's a lot for a sock pattern when the other one I was using was free. But it is what it is, the grand total of $102.74 on patterns. Then other, I wanted to throw this in here because it was sewing related and just for fun, I guess, it was my projector and the mount. So together I paid $94.98 for those two things. So for under $100, I have a pretty awesome, as if I do say so myself, projector setup. And I do have a few videos on that that you can check out down below. Then I did purchase a few notions, really not that many, but I did spend $12.60 on a rubber zipper, a weatherproof zipper from Discovery Fabrics. I showed that in my Distashify haul. Didn't end up using it. Kind of embarrassing, long story, whatever. My husband's coat only needed the pull, like the that goes on the zipper. So it was like a $5 fix and I had been putting it off for, I don't know, like five years. <laughs> anyway, that I still have that zipper. And then I purchased some little like, um, pulls, zipper pulls for a project that have um, sewing machines, that are so sewing machines, and yeah, anyway, I that was, I can't remember exactly, but I think it was like around $10, because I had it shipped to somebody in Regina, because they were doing a bigger order, and then they just sent it to me letter mail, so I didn't have to pay like the atrocious shipping from the East Coast. Oh, and then I bought some needles, and I think there might have been some thread in there, and that was $15.21 from our local shop in Yorkton, and that's it. So that works out to $37.81. I really don't buy thread anymore. I have a, quite a large stock, so I don't really need to buy thread anymore, and that is, um, that's really great for now anyway. And obviously, like, I do get gifted stuff, but this is just what I spent personally and probably wouldn't have bought thread anyway. So then if we add that all up, so the fabric was $487.75, the patterns were $102.74, my projector was $94.98, and notions were $37.81, and then I threw in that $40 for thrifting just because I think I might have spent some. No, I know we went thrifting on my birthday and I think I bought fabric then but I can't remember for certain and that gives us a grand total of $763.28 which sounds like a lot it might sound like a lot to some people it might sound like not very much to other people this is probably the lowest I have spent in the in over the last uh, I don't know four ish years three ish years since I started really getting into sewing I I've never added up what I used to spend in a year, but I would expect it to be like maybe like four times that amount, maybe even more. There have been times where I've spent like half of that on one fabric order. So yeah, it's uh, it's good. I would like this year to be half or less than that. So I'm gonna do this again at the end of the year and see where we're at then. But I also thought it would be fun to, to break this down into months because then you can see like kind of what the sewing budget is per month. So $763.28 divided by 12 works out to $63.61 per month. And when you put it that way, uh, it's kind of like, it's not a, like a, a free hobby, but it's a fairly reasonable hobby. There are other things to consider like machine maintenance and all that. Right now, my machine is still on, on uh, I get free maintenance on it. I think this might have been the last year or next year's the last year for that. So then after that, I will have to pay to have it maintained. And then I think, yeah, that's kind of like 
all I've done with my machines, but they're, depending on your situation, there can be like a ton more expenses, but those are mine. And I'm curious to know if you keep track of your sewing expenses and kind of where you sit, if you're comfortable sharing down below, if you're more or less than what mine was. So thank you so much for watching this video. It was just a little bit of entertainment and glimpse into my life. And if you want to see it again at the end of this year, 2022, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I can see you in the next video.